Okay, this is going to be video number three in the Pitch Loom series. I lost video number one today, but I will be redoing it or, on the grace of God, trying to find it somewhere. So this is going to be a short video just to see how YouTube is letting me up upload now. So this little video is going to be on making the little uh, hacky sack like things. So with no further ado, I will get started. Okay, I'm just going to show you how I did this when I started it. And I'm going to double band everything. And I'm going to just use my numbers like I normally would. So that would be my one, two, my three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, twelve. Just like so. Okay. Now I'm going to take any colors. I'm going to go over the in-betweens just like this as well. So we can get them all started this way. Get these all on. This is the only time we have to do it crisscross. Okay, so here you go. I've got them all on there crisscrossed. I'm going to start at number one. And I'm just going to pull the lower ones over. And when it goes like this and you see kind of two, don't worry about it. Just get all these red ones that you got up over. The ones on the bottom here. And go ahead and grab it, push it, pull it, do whatever you need to get them separated to get them up over. This is going to be pretty fancy looking at the end. It'll certainly hold your beans or whatever you decide to throw in it. Okay, so we got all them up over. Okay, let's go back to our one, two again. Four. Six. Seven, eight. Nine, ten. Eleven, twelve. Okay. So let's go back to the one, two, and start pulling the white up over the blue. And I'm going to grab this. If it, one fails you, the other one usually works. Now I'm going to pull anything on the bottom that's white right up over. Just like so. Just like that. Make sure you get them over. My pegs twisted. There we go. So we get that on there like that. I push them down some. Not very hard to do. Okay. So, looking at this, you can see these were the last ones on, so we're going to go in between them. So we're going to start at the 2-3. Starting with the two, three, we're going to go and do this. Bring the bottom one over the top again. 
Bottom one over the top. Bottom one over the top. Bottom one over the top. I guess you could see me a lot better if I was back here. Okay, I'm going to push that down. Okay, and we're going to go right back to the one and two again. And all I did is I numbered these so they'd be easier for me to remember. Probably the first time that I did it. One, two, three, four. And that's what it looks like on this side. So again, we're going to start here. Just go over. And you see how that's working its way in? It's just a staggered pattern. Um, probably the other one might have been fuller. I'm not sure, but this is basically how you do anything like this. You just keep staggering the pattern back and forth. So I'm going to go with a 2-3. Whatever you decide to use this design for, I'm sure it'll be pretty, you know. So, This is the smallest of the little nifty knitters that I have, just for tutorial purposes. Um, I think it looks kind of pretty. So, if you make it, it's kind of fun. As you can see. How it's shaping itself. Kind of pretty. Okay, I need more white over here. Just taking my odds and ends here. Okay, back to the two, three. a reason for flipping these over now. You can actually start wherever you want to start as long as they're all in the row and they're all covered. This isn't going to change a thing so don't think you got to start at one or two or two or three because they're all going around. 
So every other one row to row, so doesn't make any net of mine. If you're looking, how you can tell is the latest ones put on, you want to go between them. So this these two are the latest ones, so I need to go on one and two. See this one who went here, that one went there, so it kind of shows you each time just where you need to go. So. Not an earth shattering thing, just a small telltale sign. I live in Maine. We do things kind of just meat and potato like here. Simple facts, just do it. Okay. Here we go. There we go, see the pattern deepens. It's really quite um, loose on here. It's not tight like you might think it is. It goes down rather smoothly. So some of them you really gotta push hard to get it, but not these. Oh, no extra pay for humming. I learned that at the shipyard. When you got to clean or fit or weld or whatever, you learn to whistle or hum just to pass the time away. Especially if you're working on a Navy ship and there's lots of people in the passageway that have to go by your ladder when you're working. That does not make for a fun day. Okay. This is much funner. Trust me on that. I'm here to verify. Sit in one spot and everything's good. Okay. I know a lot of you people have to work all day and come home and do this. I'm retired. Um, 31 years in the shipyard. I've had my share of fun, so. I'll let you guys have the fun and I'll just stay home and play a little bit longer. Okay? You know, pretend I know what I'm doing. Works out for me. I love to share information and I love people doing this, so. Feel free to Hit me up with questions, or Charlene, or Maria, or anyone. There's a lot of people I'm thankful for on my site that are very knowledgeable. And they know who they are, and if you've been on my site more than five minutes, you probably know who they are, too. Okay. They're usually the ones that pipe up and tell you what you need to know, and I'm thankful for them. I'd start naming names, but I'd leave someone out, so I'm best just saying thank you all. Remembering names is not my strongest suit. Okay, so I'm going to push this down, like so. And let you see the back side of it. See how that's forming? Okay, so we're just doing the same thing. So I'm going to stop the video for a bit and I'll get back to you. Okay, this is what we got right now. Cutting it down about this far, and then we're just going to end it, see what we got. I'm going to stuff this side and see what we got there. So, well, I'm going to end this like I do my other videos, just 
so you know. I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put it on here. And I'm going to pull this one up over it. Then I'm going to move this one back. Just like that. I'm going to take that, pull it up over. Take that just like that. Take that. One thing you might want to do with this is use your other hook when you're doing the pulling. So there's that. I'll pull this down. I'm just going to keep my thumb on it for the sake of the tutorial. That one's over. Put it on there. Put it over. Showing you. Should be showing you what I'm doing. Okay, I'm taking this, I'm moving this over, and I'm taking the one before it and putting it over. And I'm putting this over, I'm taking this off, and I'm moving it down, and I'm taking this up. And again, you got to make sure you get this right separated in the middle. Which at this angle is a little difficult, but not undoable. Okay. Just keep putting them down in whatever order. Sorry about my breathing. It's pretty bad sometimes, but I've had a cold for quite a few weeks now. I've been on medication, and it's not the best. Okay, put that there. What I'm going to do is, okay, so I decided not to go with a bungee ball kind of thing because it was kind of cylindrical. So, if you want to like put it over a pill bottle, I did, and I'm going to put some odds and ends in there. And I'm going to actually take this and if you see like my if you see my crafting area back here this is uh like my some of my rubber bands and things but if you see over here like I got my heart and I got Charlene Lutz's butterfly she made me and stuff so I'm just gonna put this right up here and hang that and maybe paint the cover of this but that is what you can do with a little teeny nifty knitter ring. Okay, just following that video, if you got something you want to cover that's small like that, work out great. Okay, I'm going to end this video now. Um, here's a copy of my Facebook uh, membership club. It's Rainbow Looms, Rose and Picks. Take a quick look over there. Join us if you wish. We have a lot of people that make these pictures and they really enjoy it. Please share and like and pass this on to your friends. I think they'll find it interesting as well.